boy, Will John. Now, Will, if you remember, Shirupak is the last of these ancient, ancient cities that existed that is mentioned in the Epic of Gilgamesh when Gilgamesh goes to seek the secrets of immortality from Untapishtim, the Zai Sudra flood figure who is the biblical version of Noah. Now, for the, for the purposes of the rest of the entire discussion with you, Will, I'm just going to refer to this person as Noah because it's much easier for people to understand. But the only time I'm going to say this, guy, everybody, is that the original name of the Noah figure was Utapishtim or Zaya Sudra, and he was the last Sumerian king from the last of the Sumerian cities before a great catastrophe came through and destroyed the ancient world. And that is what's called the Great Deluge. But there have been more than one of these Great Deluges, and that's one of the things that I want to reiterate and explain as I go forward. But Shurupak is always discussed in every single set of these tablets as being the last of the cities. And it was originally ruled by a man named Ubara Tutu. Now, his son was Noah. And his son was the last of a set of bloodlines that connected back to these mysterious deities and gods of the Sumerian people that we believe, I believe at least, that a lot of knowledge, the knowledge that was handed down and literally the blueprints for our entire civilization came from. And in that, it's discussed how Shirupak was where this Noah figure had to create this craft to survive with his bloodlines of his family and basically survive the end of the world. But that is where a lot of my understanding of this had been stuck, Will. Now, I want to show, I want to explain something on this image for people that is absolutely fascinating. Look at the screen for a minute. And I, this is a real photo taken from the excavations of Shirupak in 1931. And I want to give a little bit of a, a tiny bit of a backstory on this because it's, it's absolutely fascinating. Because it truly proves, in my mind, the whole story being, of being linked and connected and, and the proof behind what actually happened in the past being myth versus reality. What you're seeing in front of you is around 20 or so feet of, of sediment that they're going down in, in, into in different, different levels to look for evidence of civilizations. And they called these different layers within this strata one, two, and three. And it represented three different epics of civilizations and evidence they found in these, this giant excavation of Shirupak. And I want to point that out. Three. Not one, but three different periods in different intervals of civilizations that have existed here in history. Now, here's what's so fascinating that disagrees with every single mainstream doctrine of history well is we're told that civilization is only 6,000 years old and it started more primitive and became more sophisticated as it went along in a linear way. Remember that in terms of megalithic building style and tools and um, in terms of what they left behind, like pottery and artifacts, okay? In the first layer that they're excavating, they found quite primitive tools and artifacts at the top. The clay pottery was quite simplistic without much artwork. And as they went down, they found a second layer with civilizations that was slightly more sophisticated, but still pretty primitive. And you, what th those two levels are, are, would be the two levels on your screen that you see the individual sort of more in the right middle side of the screen. Those are stratum one, strata one and two, the two different sides of civilizations. Now, this is where it gets fascinating, or maybe it is just for a nerd like me. But Will, after they got down below those first two layers, which is around the first 13 or so feet of soil, they hit this massive void, massive void of material. And the void went so far, it went 17 feet. And it went so far down that the archaeologist almost completely abandoned the, the digging project. In fact, some of the project members left the site. Okay, this is 1931. And it's funny, funny because so many things almost prevented them from even reaching this like a massive sandstorm that kept them stuck in their camp for days and they almost couldn't even excavate the site but the stories are pretty incredible but the will the point is they hit this layer okay and they called it in these papers and i've and I, i've read through all the papers from the archaeologists on the site they called it the inundation layer and they, and they speculate on whether it's actually a layer related to the biblical flood that's described in these places. 
But at the end of the paper, they dis they discuss how it's just purely for hypothetical purposes, and they can't you know don't actually support the idea. Blah 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 blah. But what they found is fascinating. As they went down, that so much of this inundation layer they found with no human remains or evidence, 17 feet, as I said, they almost gave up. It, that they called it this inundation layer because they realized it was just purely based on mud and sediment that had piled in, okay? At the last moment, one of the head archaeologists is on the project and he digs down further. He gets down to 35 feet, 30 to 35 feet, and he finds pottery and artifacts but not like any of the other stratum above them. The artifacts were highly advanced, highly sophisticated, far more advanced than any of the other stuff that was above it. They found pottery that was beautiful. They found artifacts, cuneiform tablets that even told the name, get the name Sheru pack on it. They found all of these things. And again, they went on to speculate on how something like, like that could be possible without actually coming out and admitting it well. But what does that tell us? It tells us that the ancient past and these stories of different civilizations living in these areas, coming and going and being confused with the same civilization, as well as these giant flood epics of disasters that have buried and almost wiped out our memory of the past, leading to a more primitive version that's come after, is all encapsulated better in, in Shurupak than perhaps any other site in the world. Because all the layers match up exactly with what basically proves that narrative. My brain is, is trying to understand why we can't, as a society, look at this. I mean, it's taking people like you and m many others, obviously, everybody knows the names of the, of the people like you in this field that have, that have devoted their lives to this. But my, I, I initially was going to ask what that 17-foot pit drop was and then obviously that must be the great deluge or that is a catastrophic event it's the beginning correct? of it, it yeah it's where it started okay yeah. do you see will do you see where they're standing at the bottom of the screen the very the very lower part of the picture yeah yeah of course yeah, at that's the bottom. where the inundation layer the the mud layer started then they had, to, they had to go through another 12 to 15 feet plus to get down to the original sumerians so they had the, 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 where they're standing is where the flood layer begins okay now they just All imagine right. that so, but then, then if this is the, the truth and, and there's this massive civilization that has to be, and about what time frame are we looking at at the end, at, at that point when they're digging down 15 feet? That's the thing is that that's the, this, I don't believe this is the younger Dryas at all. And that's the okay. part of, of the timeline and our understanding that guys, this is so difficult to wrap our heads around this, but imagine <laughs> that the civilization we're about to talk about was destroyed from the younger Dryas. But this civilization, the original Sumerians, was a, an epic of disasters that's before that. Another whole right. iteration. So we're over tw we're 20, 30, maybe more than likely more than 50,000 years ago. Because the Younger Dryas, for to remind anybody, ended 11,600 years ago. Oh.